So I came up with an idea for a multi-segment uh, rocket engine. So my big idea was to get two SSC rocket motors, dig out the delay element ejection charge and clay cap from one motor, and then dig out the clay nozzle from the other motor. <coughs> then I'd put the two motors together, and then I would use uh, masking tape and uh, maybe some glue to join the two casings together. And with this setup, I hope to obtain twice the burn time without multi-staging. Because having multiple stages was much harder and more complex to construct. Burning. 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 Okay. Um, here's a few pictures of the motors after the alterations. Uh, if I remember, I think I used super glue and uh, scotch brand uh, masking tape. Here's Jared participating by making sure the next boss in Ninja Gaiden is defeated before we set out for launch. Now, uh, the way I do things is I kinda make it up as I go. So, uh, I figured with my first uh, three tests I'll tape them to this uh, piece of steel here. Um, I figured the piece of steel was heavy enough so that uh, this C engine would stay in place and uh, we could see if uh, if the hot gases would uh, breach the masking tape. Perfect. So here we are set up in an undisclosed test range. Um, yeah, it's recording. So, uh, let's, uh, oh, uh, I had enough issues with, uh, batteries not working, wires not working with, like, the old Estes, uh, rocket launchers that I just decided to use a car battery instead. Can't go wrong with that. There we go. Well, uh, so it worked, uh, except uh, the the quote unquote test bed uh, didn't do its job. <laughs> I wish I knew which one that was. But it it it. I got so fed up making them that apparently I worked. Recording. This time I decided to use rocks to hold it down. Now that was damn flawless. It burned twice as long as a regular C engine, C65 engine. Looked like the masking tape and uh, the glue. Well, one I used glue and one I didn't use glue, so apparently all you have to do is masking tape. I forgot how many layers I used. Now this one, I shortened the other casing. Let's just go ahead and let this one run. And there, you can see that uh, that the hot gases breached uh, the joint, uh, much similar to uh, the the Challenger accident. Um, what I did wrong here, I believe, is when I hacked the top of one of the casings and I joined it to the other casing. Since uh, it wasn't perfectly smooth, there was kind of gaps for the hot gases to come in contact with the masking tape, and I think that allowed the hot gases to burn through the masking tape which caused that failure <clears throat> so I decided to take uh, what I just learned right here and uh, put it together this is the only footage of the rocket that I made uh, this one has two segments of a C engine. But there is ways to make those well. Ready? And here's the launch.
effing awesome. Now, uh, don't ask me how high it went or where it went or if it reached the moon or not. I cannot tell you. All I know is it went freaking high. And I, I've watched I've watched quite a few of those little shitty rockets with a C engine. They go pretty high, but that one fucking looked like it went into orbit or something. And uh that's about it. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get it back. Well,